Bienvenidos a Colombia Antigua. La historia es para compartirla sin egoísmo. Es por eso que cada video tiene el enlace y la información de dónde fue descargado. Esperamos que los videos y la información sean útiles para usted. And the problem at Barco was to lay a similar pipeline across 200 miles of mountains and jungle. This jungle is a vast lowland plain, as large as Texas, hot, moist, and full of fever, and beautiful vegetation. Moreover, the Barco region is inhabited by wild Indians, a completely savage tribe called the Motilones, who live in large tribal houses like this one, more than 50 feet long and repel all intruders with bow and arrow. The Barco fields could be reached by airplane, of course. For since 1919, the airlines of Colombia have provided this country with fast service between regions separated by mountain and jungle. But the actual territory between Petrolia and the coast had to be explored on the ground before the pipeline could be laid. And that meant building a road, a road crawling through jungle sometimes 100 feet high or curving around mountains more than a mile high. It was a tremendous task, but the American engineers did it with caterpillar tractors, axes, and machetes. They built the road and laid the pipe. Materials were brought by air to various points. Truck parts were assembled. Supplies, food, and equipment were landed in airports hacked out of a tropical jungle. During construction, the Motilones killed eight men and wounded many others. They're still fighting, and wounded men are treated in the company hospital at Petrolia. The pipeline goes over the river on this bridge, then under the road, which curves and drops through the mountains, and then creeps through the jungle to Petrolia. The first successful well came in in May 1934 at Petrolia. It took two years and 6,000 men to build the Barco line. Today, it takes only 1,500 men to operate the fields under routine conditions. Most of the workers are natives, whose working conditions are inspected by the Colombian government. The revenue from the concession is an important item in the national budget. For by the end of 1939, the pipe was sending down more than 10,000 barrels of crude oil every day. A small refinery was built for local use in the jungle. To lay this 200-mile pipeline, to build the road, and to put into operation this project required an initial investment of more than $50 million.